back to New Day Cleveland. We are talking about buying your tickets now for the new Playhouse Square season, Key Bank Broadway series, but there's more than that. We're talking about the U.S. Bank series. Three more shows, great shows, shows like Chicago. The U.S. Bank Star Performance Series has so many great productions, including Chicago. And all that jazz. I mean, all that jazz. You know, it rolled out in 1996 when it was revived on Broadway, and it still is a hit today. That Bob Fosse choreography is just so sassy, the music is so wonderful, and the story of Velma Kelly and Roxy Hart is one that we are just obsessed with. It's going to be delivered in spades, in little black costumes, <laughs> when Chicago comes back to the Palace Theater. Now, in addition to that, this season is going to rock. Rock of Ages, a light-hearted, fun journey. Speaking of journey, you'll hear their music, Ario Speedwagon, White Snake, Pat Benatar, all wrapped around this fun story about a young girl from Kansas who goes to Hollywood in the late 80s, seeking love, seeking fame, and how it all comes about for her. Wanna be an American idiot. And wrapping it all up, is Green Day's big hit, American Idiot. Now, this show to me is so interesting because this is actually was written as a concept album, a rock album, not too unlike Tommy with The Who, but this was actually in response to 9-11. So it is about uh, one's survival in the suburbs, it's about media, it's about following the journey of three young men in their lives, and it's wrapped around that fantastic music by Green Day. So, the U.S. Bank Star Performance Series is loaded with fun, loaded with opportunity, and it's a rockin' good time. That sounds so good. I'd like to bring all my friends, and I bet you would too, at least your family or some of your friends, and if you wanna do that, we've got some group ticket sales information from Natalie. All right, I'm here with Jeannie to talk about the one night performances because those are also very big throughout the season, but people need to get those tickets since they're only here one night. They sure do because even though we're known for Broadway, the million plus people who come through our doors every year, thousands of them come to one night concerts. And we have you know, musical concerts, comedians, dance, speakers, and many of those do sell out. So you can't wait. A couple of them coming up who always sell out, Johnny Mathis. When you remember me. Joan Rivers. Um, Dave Potts. Okay. Um, David Sedaris. I mean, a lot of shows that come in that you better get your tickets early or you're going to miss out. And some of these are veterans, and we're, we're never quite sure how many times they're going to come back if they're going to get tired of the road. So get those now. You probably have gotten to know some of them through doing this. Do they like coming to Cleveland? They love Cleveland. They say Cleveland has the best audiences. And when they come here, because they stay kind of consistent with their people, we get to know them. We, you know, we've exchanged recipes. I have recipes from Johnny Mathis that I make all the time. And, you know, we ask, how are the kids? And where are you going next? And so it's really more like a family thing after a while. Do you feel like people like to come to this sort of thing where it's just like these one night spur of the moment uh, type of performances? Well, certainly, because we have so many different things. For instance, we have for dance, we have ballet with a twist. They're performing cocktail hours. They're going to be performing drinks. Um, we have, How do you do? I, I would don't love know. to know. You don't know either. I'd but love to know that sounds one. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> we have great speakers coming. We have Bob Woodward of Watergate fame. We have Doris Goodwin, the Lincoln biographer. We have Cleveland's own Michael Ruhlman talking about America too stupid to cook. Now, that sounds interesting, too. But we have comedians. You know, a lot of these people are become opening acts and then they become stars. So you see them here first. We have Wanda Sykes coming, we have Anthony Jeselnik, we have, you know, so many people. We have things like Celtic Thunder. Um, so there's something for everybody here on the one night shows. On the one night shows. And it's interesting with the comedians, I feel like we've, we've possibly seen them at Hilarities or some of these smaller places that are in Cleveland. And then they get so big that they have to fill out these types of sure. theaters. Over the years, I've worked with Jay Leno as an opening act and Jerry Seinfeld as an opening act. And, you know, now sometimes they're too even expensive to for us to bring. So, <laughs> And I will give you a little bit of an insight that nobody knows this. This is an exclusive. Ooh, I like this. We have Lily Tomlin coming in 2014. I mean, iconic film, you know, stage, TV. But if you go to our website, playhousesquare.org, you can find all the 
shows that are booked, all, all the, the shows of everything. that are coming. Okay. You can plan your visit, find out restaurants, you can find out everything. You can buy gift certificates even to bring people to some other shows later on in the year for the holidays. Well, I truly feel because you know you have the Broadway series and mm -hmm. things going on, but with these shows, there really is something for everybody. Everyone. And if I make one more thing, when you said about get your tickets early, Frankie Valley Four Seasons, November second, always sell out. Get those to see the original Jersey Boys before you see Jersey Boys next year. Sounds good, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay, Natalie, the idea now is to get home real quick because in just about one minute, it's going to be 11 o'clock, you know what that means. That means you better get those tickets because with those 10 great shows between those two series, they may just get sold out. Yeah, you know, I got shut out of a show last year, so don't let it happen to you this year. Uh, make sure you check it out. It's the Key Bank Broadway series and the U.S. Bank series. Something for everyone, something for the kids, something for mom and dad. It's a party at Playhouse <laughs> Square, and don't forget to have dinner. Absolutely. So we will see you on the next New Day Cleveland. What's your name? Natalie Herbick. I like you. David Moss. See you on the next one. Well, I hear the music. There's no point in even talking when you're